My name is uh, Mr. Ifani Victor Ugoju. Last December uh, 2017, I just woke up one morning. In Nigeria, in Port Harcourt, where I live, in my house. Then I decided to wash my car. So, on the process, fished water to wash the car and then I discovered the, the rag I was holding wasn't touching where I wanted my hand to touch. When I want to touch tire, the hand will go this way. Mr. Victor, he came, uh, when he came to the OPD, he was having complaints of headache of three to four months duration. And he was also having problems of seizures. Seizures like in what we mean in layman's terms, abnormal jerky movements on one side of the body, what we call as fit. So uh, my doctor recommended for some tests. So they now decided to do a brain uh, scan. I spent, uh, I think, five days in Ripon Clinic. And they were revived me and they did all these tests. He now sat me down and told me that uh, this is a brain tumor and I need to be removed immediately. And then they referred me to another hospital. He's a director in, in Lagos, Vedic Life Care, which happened to have a a kind of partnership with Money Pass. We came to Bangalore on the 3rd, on the 3rd of uh, March. There was no wasting time. We saw Dr. Priyanvia, she recommended what to be done. We started doing it immediately. I underwent a brain surgery and uh, it was carried out by Dr. Priyanvia. And um, like I told you, right from the beginning, the display of professionalism was too much. It gave me the courage, the hope. In fact, I, I developed that mind that she can do it right from Nigeria. When I saw her profile, they sent me her profile, her picture, everything. And something told me that this woman can help me solve this problem. So when we did a contrast MRI brain, we found that uh, he's having a very large tumor on the left side of the brain, somewhere near the surface. And the location of the tumor was such that it was bang on the area which controls our movements on the right side of the body, what we call as the motor cortex. So the surgery was planned. Uh, he understood, uh, I mean, uh, the risk well. We, t we took an informed consent and with all due precautions we started the surgery all the tests and everything and the follow-up was wonderful so the professionalism displayed and the kindness and the the concern is really wonderful i've never seen it before my smallest girl uh, chim Nechirem, she was a kind of say ah daddy can't you hold your phone because i couldn't even use the hand to hold a phone. It was a long surgery, went on for more than 10 hours, and, uh, but, uh, even, and he had to be electively ventilated overnight because it was a very long surgery, but he withstood the surgery well. The very next day, uh, we were able to take him off the ventilator and he was able to start moving the right side well. I've, I've been in uh, Bangalore since thought, and I can say up to today, you can see the treatment is still going on and I'm getting better and better. Is there anything bigger than 100 percent? Nothing bigger than 100 percent. So I'm telling you that Mani Pass Hospital is a hospital I can recommend for somebody 100 percent. Starting from the doctors, the nurses, the attendants, the hospitality was wonderful. And to God be the glory, at the end of the surgery, I think came out successful. More successful than I ever thought, you know. And then uh, we give God the glory.